Well, now that we mentioned Scott Hall's name, you uh, you worked a few times with him as well. How, how was that experience? Well, my first uh, unintentional uh, partnership with Scott Hall was when we were hosting something called Ring Roasts. Roasts were coming back on Comedy Central and the Howard Stern Show, and we we thought wrestling would be a perfect venue for that. The guys have great stories. They could tell great stories about each other up on the dais. And uh, so we did the first one with the Iron Sheik and we went on the Stern show and promoted it. It was great. And we were set up and Scott was at the venue that night, not part of the roast uh, intentionally. And uh, he was um, not in good shape. And he stood up on the platform and began to kind of distract the entire room and uh, a comic made a joke that he took offense to shocking i know and uh he dove off the platform and ran up on the stage and attacked the comedian and so that was my first work with with scott hall you could see if you ever see footage of that i'm i'm in the periphery when the attack is happening and, and I'm holding a, a, a video release so, so Scott can sign. That's just to show you the producer's mentality. He's up there choking a comic, and I'm going, Scott, just sign it first. Before you kill him, would you sign this, please, so we can sell this? But that was my first time with Scott. And then after that, I, I, did, um, I did some more legitimate settings, like uh, a, a U-shoot. And uh, he was... Listen, Scott's struggles were widely reported, and yeah, he uh, just uh, just great in the ring. Of course, uh, it, everything he did was was smooth, and and you know, on the microphone, of course, you know, and he he was a gimmick. He could be, he could play it straight. He could be Razor Ramon. He could be himself. He was everything that you wanted in a wrestler. I would imagine if you're a promoter. Yeah. Except yeah. the difficulty negotiating with you know that stuff wouldn't have been fun. But the in-ring or on-camera product was certainly uh, stellar. Oh, so like when you guys negotiated your deal for him to come on and do your your show, was it was there difficulties there or? Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't think. Uh, I, I think there might have been a, a, a little. Listen, you know, you never deal with the click and 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 get out un unbruised, unscarred. There's always something, right? So I think Scott had a while we were ready to shoot. <laughs> it did a little. You know, that envelope's a little light. I say, well, your agent, Super Agent Eric Sims, negotiated this. So if you want my phone, you can call him. Otherwise, we're shooting a fucking show here. Um, he was concerned he had some sushi waiting for him in the lobby. So if I could speed this up, you know. But he did his two hours on care. I'll take that. I always said in any interview and in the books and everything, I will shoulder that responsibility. I, was, I came from the entertainment business. I'm, I'm, I'm used to difficult personalities. I'll deal with that. As long as on camera, the fans are getting the perfect product. It's entertaining. You're funny. You look like you want to be there. Give me the shit before the show and after the show. As long as the fans get the product, I'm fine. That's a deal I can live with. Pro Wrestling Noah, July 16, Nippon Budokan. Keiji Muto's chosen venue, the Nippon Budokan. The first fight of his retirement streak. The challenger, Supernova Kaito Kiyomiya. Don't miss Keiji Mato's retirement run. Noa. Shinihon Pro Wrestler. Amakudai Takija. Yendara. Keno challenges New Japan Pro Wrestling Satoshi Kojima for Noah Gold. The GHC Heavyweight Championship! And Ninja Mac is back! On top of that, Rob Van Dam in a hardcore rules match! International stream on Wrestle Universe!